everyone, Alex here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Scale Trains Run 4 of the 31k uh, gallon crude oil tanker cars. These are in TI Alex. So, uh, let's get right into the video. cars out of the box now and before we actually get into the review there's a few goals i want to set myself for this video um one being instead of just reviewing one thing at a time i'm going to include the um the gondolas that they did with this run which are the uh cb and q shops gondolas i believe um and then we're going to try and do some running on the layout but that's <laughs> been a bit of a mess lately and that's why oh, i guess i haven't been doing really any videos lately it's because we've been doing a lot of rail fanning and school has been pretty stressful and then working on the layout a bunch so with that i guess we can take a look at this bad boy here um, I don't know, this is the first time taking it out. This looks really nice. I guess we can start either end, doesn't really matter. Um, we have, I believe these are molded. I'm not sure, they might be cast. Uh, but we have the walkways here, they are on either side. We have the reporting marks. Uh, TI Alex. 352, 482, capacity 31,750 US gallons. Um, a bunch of other writing. On the bottom, we have a flammable sign. We have a coupler cut bar. We have some really good looking couplers. These have been improving lately from taking a look back there at the demonstrator Jeevo. Um, wow, I have weathering powder on my fingers. Um, I'll have to take care of that. Uh, we have the ladder on the side of the car. Uh, walkways on either side of the cap. Um, we have handrails here, which are actually really firm, which is cool. And we have some more of the scaffolding, I believe. And then, um, air brake things on the bottom of the car. We have some pretty good looking couplers with the metal wheels, uh, roller bearing caps, which are really nice to see, and literally everything Scale Trains has been coming out with lately. I believe I say that now, and I'm looking at the Kit Classic gondolas, and I don't think those have roller bearing caps. But, um, yeah, we have more reporting marks over here on this side. We have a chart, I'm not sure what that says or is about. But that does have writing on it, and it's legible, so that's really cool. Other side, same story as this side. We have the reporting marks. We have the um, hazard we for um, flammable. We have the brake wheel, though, here. Um, and that's about it that I'm seeing for these cars, so... I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the Kit Classic gondolas out. We're gonna build one of those, I guess, and then I'll try and run an ethanol train on the layout if there's enough space. So, I'll see you guys when I have that Kit Classic taken out. I thought we'd do the sewer line um, for a multitude of reasons, but this personally looking at it might be one out, or either my favorite or second favorite that they did because it's not just black, like the Conrail C&W and North Oak and Western, but there are the Burlington Route and BN, which are really nice. I guess I could show you guys some of those. I will have all these built later, hopefully. 
Um, so here we have the Burlington route, we have the CNW, and then hopefully I don't knock over the stack of oil cars. Oops. And we have the Burlington Northern one. So I guess we could just go like that, start to take out the sewer line. Hopefully we don't have to glue anything together. I'd assume we do because it is a kit. I love it. I don't know where, I do know where my glue is. I just don't know how to use this. It's a new type of glue, which just sounds really stupid, but I just don't know how to take the bottle out. All right, so this wasn't uh, taped together, which is nice. We have the weights for the car itself. We have the body of the car. Um, I'm going to assume that we won't have to glue anything together and have it just be building, because we already have the molded grab irons here. Uh, not sure about the details on the bottom. We do have the RSU reporting marks. Uh, we have a set of trucks, which do not have bearing caps. We have the couplers, which we have to build, and then the actual bottom of the car. All right. I take a look in this bag here. We have a brake wheel, air tanks, the couplers themselves. And then this, I don't really know what this piece is, I apologize. But that's probably something that will need to be glued. <laughs> so, I should find this. But first, we're gonna take a look at this for the, the instructions. The one side, we do have a parts list. So I guess that could be helpful aid us in building, but I do not believe that we will need that. So I'm just gonna try and do everything I can here without um, glue, and then when I do need glue, I'll just edit that out and show you if I do get around to the ethanol train. If not, this will be the end of the video, and oh well. I am now trying to stall because these weights are held together, and I don't know how to take, oh, just kidding, they really would. All right. So, I'm going to assume that I was not supposed to. I'm so confused. All right, I'm gonna assume that I was not supposed to do that. Let's just go like that. This pops on here. Probably some screws. One of these bags, I'd assume. We're gonna check this out. We have, I think this is the air brake system. Not sure, we have the air tank itself brake wheel. I don't know what that is. That looks like a compressor, maybe. We have the two couplers, um, the box for the coupler. Well, that's really far away. I'm just looking at that now. Sorry. Um, this other bag here. I'm going to assume that there's some screws. Yeah, so we have the two sets of trucks and then a bunch of smaller screws, probably for the couplers, the trucks, and then this base here. So I'm going to grab a screwdriver which I have right here conveniently. And I guess we can just put these together. I will be back once I have everything assembled. I will do that now. I'm not gonna cut to the layout, hopefully. I might, <laughs> and if I do, I'll just show it running. All right, that's what I'll do. I will put this bad boy together, get an ethanol train up and running, show this running on the layout, so you guys know how this runs. If you're interested in them or you just watching i don't know all right so see you guys then all right so we're over at the layout i really did not feel like taking all 24 oil cars out so i'm just gonna have this a gondola and we got here this is not turning then we got our sue power over there so go ahead and put i believe he's already programmed yes i don't i don't stop oh my gosh All right, that was painful. All right, so we're over here at the layout. I really didn't feel like taking out 24 cars. So I went ahead, just brought the one over, put together the Sioux line. Uh, one thing I did learn about this, you do not have to glue in all the pieces. You only have to glue in one thing on the bottom. But for cleanliness of the layout and not having parts falling off your cars, I would recommend it. So, we're over here with the Rapido C-Line SW1200, and then we have the two cars. So, I don't really know what to do with this. I used to the locomotive aspect. So, 
Alright, I don't know what he's doing. He does not want to go, and I believe he's consisted. So... Alright, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and couple to this. Um... Alright, he's just weak. Went pretty smoothly. And to that car. So, here we're gonna go ahead and turn this off. They run pretty smooth. I do not hear any noises, like any creaking of the wheels. Um, so yeah, they sound pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and give it some more speed. I think the switch is flipped, yes. So, those look like they're running along pretty well. Um, yeah, no complaints whatsoever. Very quiet. Uh, no problems so far with derailment. I guess I'll let you guys know if anything does happen, which I doubt will. But, yeah, it's going pretty smoothly. So, I suppose that's going to be it for the video. Um, hope everyone enjoyed. Sorry for taking such a long break again. I'll try to get back into the... So we're making videos, and I will see you guys next week.